gonna be starting with a morning mug from the Still Magnolia. I'm using the color Lamb's Wool from Pop of Color. I have my cup sanded, and we're just going to base paint the entire mug with this color. Once your base coat has dried, we're going to take a chip brush and our second color, which I'm using terracotta from the Pop of Color paints, and I'm just dipping the tip of the paintbrush into the paint in the lid to grab just the tiniest bit on my brush to leave these dry brush strokes. You're going to want to wait until that terracotta color dries and we're going to do the exact same thing with the green. I'm using old army green from the pop of color paints. We're using the same technique with barely grabbing any paint on the brush and just leaving some dry brush strokes. After your green has now dried, I'm just going to go back in with the lamb's wool color and I'm just going to do the same technique, but I'm going to soften some of the parts that I feel look a little harsh and I got a little heavy handed. Taking some Mod Podge in a precision tip bottle, I'm just going to be squirting a little bit on and spreading it around with my finger, mimicking the brush strokes. Then while that Mod Podge is wet, we're going to take our first glitter color, which is Morning Dew from Diamonds and Dust, and we're just going to sprinkle that on. Continuing on with your first glitter color, you're just going to do this technique around your entire morning mug. Moving on to our second glitter color, I'm using Just Dandy. We're going to do the same thing as we did with the Morning Dew color, making sure we leave some of that paint exposed. Moving on to our third and final color. This color is called Fake Bake.
make sure you spray seal your cup really well so those glitters stay in place and then add a coat of epoxy. I'm just propping up my mug here on a sandy block and a silicone mold so it doesn't roll around. It's also way easier to get a visual on the center of the mug when the handle is facing you directly. I'm using these awesome rub-on transfers from Southern Bell Glitter. They are just super easy to apply and they can even go over dark colors. They come in large sheets of a wide variety of prints to choose from. And all you have to do to get them to stick to your cup is just take the stick that's provided and rub it really well and then remove the transfer sheet. Another thing I just love about the transfers is since they have that white backing, they can be layered. So I'm just going to take some leaves and some cute little sunflowers and kind of border my gnome. I must have forgotten to video myself adding the sunflowers, so I apologize about that. But you can see them here and how adorable they turned out. Once your transfers are applied, you can go ahead and add your final layer of epoxy. And here is our freaking adorable gnome morning mug all finished. I just love the look and how this turned out. It's giving me some serious woodland vibes. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like more tips and tricks, join my Facebook group with the link in the description and look for me on all other social media platforms. Thanks guys.